Hi, paint pouring people. I'm going to do my favorite technique today, which is a swipe, but I'm going to do it a little bit different. I'm going to do what I'm calling a center swipe. You know, a group of colors at one end, a different group of colors at the other end, and the swipe color, which is going to be black, is going to be more or less in the middle. And then I'm going to swipe two different directions. And the other thing I'm going to do different is, if you've watched my previous swiping videos, you know that this offset spatula is my favorite swiping tool. I have a big one, a little one. I'm not going to use these today. I'm going to swipe with paper towels. People use a lot of different things for swiping and I tend to stick with my regular tools, but today I'm going to go a little different and use the dry paper towel for the swiping mechanism. So I have my colors picked out. I have a group of uh, golds and browns at one end. I'm going to pour some stripes. I have a 10 by 20 canvas. I like the long skinny look. So let's get started. I have them all lined up in the order that I'm going to pour. That way I don't have to think about it. And I'm going to start pouring some stripes right now. Black is the going to be the swipe color, and I'm using all my happy medium paint ready to pour colors. If you want to know which specific colors I'm using today, I have them listed in the description below. And of course, you can go to happymedium.fun to buy them if you want to try my own line of paint ready to pour. So what I'm doing is I have some different blues here at the bottom. The blue is going to be a longer swipe, so I'm going to repeat some of these blues. This is Southwest Turquoise. Do one more blue. Now I'm going to sprinkle some, not sprinkle, but add a little white in some random places. White always looks good swiping. I'm not doing a lot because I want the colors to stay colorful. So I'm just putting some white in a couple of different places before I start. The other thing I'm going to do is tilt some to run these stripes together before I swipe them. This will also make them look a little less stripy and a little more random. Not bad. I'm just going to tilt and spread them around before I start. All right, I'm going to go back this way. Now, black is my swipe color, but what I want to avoid is having the black dead center. Even though I'm calling this a center swipe, to me things are more interesting if your feature is not dead center. So I'm going to tilt and move this black towards the end a little more. So it's about one third of the way down instead of in the middle before I start swiping. Okay. I'm going to add a slight amount of black here. I want to make sure I have plenty of swiping black before I start because it's... All right, now here goes the paper towel part. Doesn't take much. I'm gonna to touch the paper towel down into the black, make sure it has contact everywhere, and then just start pulling. I'm doing a little wavy move as I go, because that's kind of fun too. There's one end. See the cells popping up. Now I'm going to turn it so I'm swiping towards myself. I'm going to go back into the black with a paper towel. This is a dry paper towel. 
start pulling. There it is. Now I can assess the situation. It's kind of interesting. Okay, I really like what I'm seeing here. It's, it's different than I was expecting. I do have the black in the center. I like what's going on here with the cells. I like this shape, but it's a little solid here for me. So I'm gonna take my small spatula and just open up some of the black here without disturbing what's going on just to just to integrate some of this gold and brown type of color here into the black break up the solidness of the black that's kind of what I like doing and it gives it a little some different shapes here to look at you can see the gold is popping up as I just barely touching the surface here now I'm getting some of this. This is Aztec orange. It's kind of a coppery look right now. Okay, now I'm going to go over here to this side and just do a few here. I don't want to disturb what's going on because I do. I like the way this stuff in the center happened. It's uh, never quite what you expect, but you go with it. And I'm just just going to do this a few more times. Sort of looks, it gives it kind of some movement and almost kind of a flame look. I'm going to get some coverage on the sides here where it missed. I'm going to do a little bit on the blue end as well. couple more places before I stop this will reveal some of the blue that's underneath that's being currently covered up The only other thing I'm going to do is get some coverage here. There's a couple of spots. Swiping doesn't run over the sides quite like other techniques do. So you want to make sure you get some coverage here so it looks nice. And I also painted the sides of my canvas black before I started, which gives it kind of a finished look without having the paint have to cover the whole thing. You see some black peeking through. I'm just helping it along here to get rid of the white canvas. I don't want to overdo it though. I'm going to call this good. You can see I did this in just a few minutes and if I if I tinker with it too much, it's going to it's going to change and I really like what happened here. It's different. Again, it's a center swipe, the black swipe, different directions. It's a really fun look. It's, it's, a, it's a change from just swiping from one end all the way so, down. Give it a try. I really like what's going on here. I'm going to do more of these, and I hope to see you on my Paint Pouring People on Facebook. And if you need supplies, I have an Amazon shopping list. All my links are below, including my social media links. You can check out happymedium.fun, my paint ready to pour. I'll list all the colors below. And please comment, subscribe if you haven't already, like the video, and we'll see you next time.